welcome back to my channel. I am going to be using my new Easy Press 2 today. I'm super excited. I just got this for Christmas. Um, to be honest, I've only done one project with it, and if you have an Easy Press, um, it's that project where they give you the little Cricut um, emblem and they have you put it on a bag. So I practiced with that and it did perfect. So I have a little bit of nervous butterflies about using it because. Um, it's kind of my first time. This is my first big project. So I'm super excited though. I have been so wanting this. And so I was really, really a happy girl on Christmas morning. So uh, the first project, uh, the debut project with the Easy Press is going to be some sweet little shirts for my girls. I got these at Hobby Lobby and they just were washed. They just came out of the dryer. So they're going to need a little bit of um, ironing out. And I'll do that with the press before I put um, their little initials on them but they came from Hobby Lobby they were $5.99 a piece and they were 30% off so the final price was super easy super cheap and I'm going to be using this Cricut patterned iron-on it comes with three different designs and I am going to be using they're all so pretty in fact I just did my little girl's birthday invitations with um, the vinyl version of this same pattern and it turned out so cute so these are so fun I think it's called um, oh in blooms pink, pink sampler and it comes in um, HTV and it also comes in um, regular vinyl so I am going to be using so they have this pink one and then they have this really nice um, white with little pink vines on it that's so pretty but I am going to be using this third one how pretty is this I think it'll be so pretty with the little pink sleeves for these baseball tees and what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be making their initials on each of their shirts so before I cut out the HTV and show you in how I'm going to do that in design space, I'm just going to measure how big I want the letters. So this first shirt is a two t-shirt, itty bitty, and I think about five inches for my design is going to be plenty big for this one. So. I'm going to note five inches for the 2T, and then the 4T is a tad bigger, so I think I'm going to make the letter just a little bit bigger. I think I'm going to go about six inches on the 4T. Okay. That looks good. Okay, so I'm going to pop over into Cricut Design Space, and we will make those initials super quick, super easy. I will show you how to um, cut on um patterned iron on it's going to be a little bit different than when you cut on regular vinyl so let's pop on over there and let's get to crafting okay so here we are in Cricut design space we are going to just be making um first initial letters for the front of these shirts so i'm going to go over here to text and the font that i'm going to be using is called extreme oops, fonts uh, short stuff okay so the first initial I'm gonna be doing is the K and before I forget because I know that I will forget I'm gonna size this really quick because this they're both gonna be different sizes and I don't want to mess them up so while it's on my mind this is going to be the six inch letter Okay. The next one, I'm going to add another text box, and the second initial is C. Okay, and then this is the smaller of the two, so I'm going to size this just by going up here to height, and I'm going to size this at five inches. Okay, perfect. I'm going to play around with this C just a little bit kind of make it a little less I don't know maybe the word squatty <laughs> I don't know for some reason it just was a little off to my eye okay so now that I have kind of the shape I want I'm going to go back up here and resize that to five inches let me see do I like that Okay, 
looks good. Okay, so I am happy with these. I'm gonna click save and I'm gonna say kid child base ooh, baseball t-shirt and save. Okay. So I'm just gonna go over and hit make it. And for this project, um, ooh, let's look at how perfect that fits right on there. Perfect. Okay. For this project, um, you are going to want to mirror. When you are doing iron on or HTV, you always want to mirror it, mirror it and you will see why once we um, weed it and lay it down on our project. So it'll make more sense to you as we um, continue to craft. So just bear with me. Always, always, always mirror your image before you print it because if you don't, it's so frustrating because then you have un you just wasted all of it because it's going to be backwards in the end. So essentially, um, the HTV or the patterned iron, patterned iron on comes with its own built in transfer sheet. So again, it's going to make more sense when you visually see it. But for now, always click mirror. We're going to hit continue. And it's just finding my maker. Okay guys, I'm all connected, but now I'm having a little hesitation about that K because the width is just a little wide for me and I'm a little bit nervous that it's a little too wide for that tiny shirt. So I'm gonna hit cancel really quick and yes, I'm sure. I just wanna make sure that I do this right. I don't wanna waste any vinyl. So let me cancel real quick and I'm just gonna go back here. Um, if you hit this bottom left, um, icon which is the lock button it allows you to um, size it however you want without with kind of distorting it a little bit so what I'm gonna do is I do like the height at six but I'm just gonna bring this into about five I think um, six inches around um, of width is a little bit big so I'm just gonna go around five okay final answer make it and there we are okay again mirror and continue I'm gonna drag this just a little bit I know that it cricket wants me to say vinyl but sometimes that makes it really tricky to cut between okay and it's gonna find my maker and for this one we are going to use patterned iron-on and we are all set to go. Before I click out of um, my computer screen, I wanna show you guys the heat guide. Um, this is a really, really great um, thing to get used to using if you have um, an easy press. Cricut makes it so easy and they help you out so much um, by telling you how um, long to press your material for with your heat press and how hot to make your heat press. So I, um, you just go to Cricut Heat Guide. I just Googled Cricut Heat Guide and then I ended up adding this to my favorites because it's very helpful. So I have the Cricut Easy Press 2, so I'm gonna make sure that's clicked. I am using patterned iron on and my base material is 100% cotton and I am using a Cricut Easy Press mat. And then once all of my personal selections for my um, products are selected, you just hit apply and they tell you everything. So they're going to tell you 340 is what you're going to want to heat your press to. You're going to want to press it for 30 seconds and use firm pressure. You're also going to want to do a cold peel on this project. So you're not going to want to peel it right away. We're going to have to be patient on this one. <laughs> and then it just tells you everything that you're going to need and how to prep and how to apply. And then I love that it also says um, for caring, caring for your project afterwards, you're going to allow it to um, it's going to cure for 24 hours before you wash it and then you're going to want to put it inside out and of course you're not going to want to bleach it okay so let's go ahead and get started okay everybody we are ready to go for the sake of transparency i am a little nervous just because it's new this is a new project for me and the heat press is brand new to my little craft table so i'm super excited to do this but i'm just a tad nervous too so i'm going to go ahead and put press on and then I'm going to go ahead and set it to 340 Whoops. temperature 340 and then I'm going to hit the timer Whoops. 
Oh, it's heating up. Okay, and then hit the timer for 30 seconds. Okay. There we go. The um, little cricket icon is red right now, meaning it's not heated up, but it will turn green when this is ready. Okay, so we're going to let that little guy sit for a minute. So let's get to cutting our material. So um, when you do patterned iron on, you're gonna actually place it shiny side down or pattern side down. So we're gonna flip this over. Let's see. Ooh, it's a little tricky today because I got a brand new sticky mat and there we go. Also got this little brayer for Christmas and I got a um, bright pad for Christmas from my mom and dad-in-law I was really spoiled this Christmas it was a very cricket Christmas for me so I was really ready to start crafting once it was December 26th <laughs> okay um, remember, I will link all of the materials and all of the um, tools that I use in the description box below. So all the tools are coming in and out so quickly in this tutorial, but don't worry, I have your back in there all linked below. That way you are all set for your project. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and load my mat. And once it flashes, you can hit cut. Okay. <laughs> this is the easy part, really, the cutting. It's the easy press part that is brand new to me. So I'm super excited. I have so many ideas for what I want to do with this. So this was one of my first ideas for the girls. Okay, time to unload. this oops do this so I did use default pressure um for this so we'll see how that worked and I'm just gonna use my Cricut paper trimmer so that I can cut this really nice and leave a straight line for my scrap the thing about iron-on is it's a little tricky to see. Okay. Okay. Which is why that, um, which is why the bright pad is going to be awesome. Okay, but one thing at a time. I feel like I can, I feel like I can only handle so much new today, so I'm going to. Go ahead and start weeding. Iron on really does weed just so nice. Okay, so are you guys seeing why mirroring the image is so important? Because once you turn it around, there you have it. Let me use my little mat here. Do you guys see? Oh, it's going to be so cute. Let me go ahead, go ahead and cut them apart. So this um, is the built-in transfer paper. So that's why you want to mirror your image so it cuts it backwards so that once you go to lay it down on your product, it's facing the right direction. And we did it. They look great. I love the print too. It's going to be so fun. Okay. Now comes the press part. 
So I am going to be using my Easy Press mat, and I'm going to be using this um, Cricut, I think it's a Teflon sheet um, for this. Okay, so let's start with um, the bigger of the two. Put this one aside. I am going to, let's make sure it's the right one. Okay. So I'm just going to lay the shirt down on the mat. And while um, we were cutting, it did beep, cute little beep it did, and it's all heated up, so we are ready. I'm just going to um, preheat the fabric and also kind of get some of these wrinkles out. Okay. Okay, I'm using my tape. I think I'm going to go about two inches from the collar. I believe there is actually a guide um, somewhere, somewhere on the internet. There is a guide for how many inches you want to focus on for um, children's t-shirts and um, adult t-shirts. I haven't looked that up, but visually about two inches for this looks good to me. I'm really glad that I actually sized that down a little bit. I think that looks really good. What do you guys think? I think that looks so good. I love it. Okay, let me just double check here. Yep, we are at two inches. Okay. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> I'm so ready. This is going to be fun. Okay, so um, the things we want to remember is it did tell us to use firm pressure, and we're going to um, press the front, and then we will press the back. So this is where I want it to be. Such a, since it's such a small little project, um, I can measure the sides to make sure it's um, right in the middle. That's three and a half. And oh, we can move it over just a little bit. That's about four. And ooh, still a little bit. There we go. That's it for, and there we go. Perfect, oh my gosh, it's perfect, okay. Okay, so it's still warm from when I did the um, little ironing job there, so that's good, because it wants you to preheat it. And here we go. Pray for me, you guys. So I'm gonna lay this on there, and I'm gonna hit the timer. Whoop, no, I'm gonna hit the cricket button. Down, and I'm giving it nice firm pressure. I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay. It's looking really good. And I'm going to turn it over. And it said do 15 seconds on the back. Okay, 15 seconds. And firm pressure again. Okay. Okay, so since this is a cold peel, we have to wait a little bit to um, peel it off. Ooh, I'm so excited to see how that works. You know what, I realized that I forgot to use my Teflon sheet. Um, so I'm gonna use that for the, the second one. As I've, I've been looking around or watching um, other tutorials too, and it's kind of a, um, I don't know, some people use it, some people don't, so we'll see. It's obviously worked really good without it, so let's try it with the Teflon sheet on the other one. And we'll do the baby shirt. Okay, let's just kind of preheat that. It all ironed and nice. 
I think this size was really good for the, the little one's shirt too. I think that was, what we say, five inches, so. Um, and we are right about two inches from the top. Perfect, and we are at three and a half, and whoa, three and a half. Actually, I think I need to move it just a hair that way. Okay, all right, so let's try using this Teflon sheet. Let's see the difference. Okay. Firm pressure again. So yeah, that Teflon sheet, tell me what you guys think about the Teflon sheet in, in the comments. Do you guys use it or not? I got it just in case, but um, I see some people using it and some people don't. So that's why I'm not too worried about my other one because it's kind of, it's flip or flop, right? Okay. I think the little beep on the Cricut's so cute. Ooh, that's hot. Goodness. Oh, so that actually peeled up. Got to be careful because it actually pe wanted to peel up my paper. Okay. Good to know. Okay, flip it over and do the 15 seconds on the back. All right, well, now I want one in my size. I always think it's kind of fun to twin with the girls. Kids' clothes are so cute. I always wish that I could get some of their cute outfits in my size. So it said 15 seconds on the back. Okay. All right. So, how cute. I am really into florals right now. I think it's so pretty. So, okay, I'm going to set this one off to the side because they did say cold peel. And let's check on this one. Okay, so it is cool. And I'm looking really close and I can see the little shirt fibers through it. So I think I'm good, you guys. It's peeling really nice. Oh my goodness. I kind of want to dance right now. <laughs> I'm so excited it worked. It worked. Okay. And it looks really good. It really does. Okay, so... Now we just have to patiently wait for the second one. Put my little mat away. Um, if you don't have a, um, a heat mat, they do say that you can use a towel. Um, I did get a heat mat because it's kind of recommended that you use it. So I wanted to make sure I was giving myself the best possible chance of being successful with it. Okay, let me check the little C. So when I took that Teflon sheet off, it was wanting to pe peel off my carrier sheet. So just kind of note that this is actually already cool. I actually think that I want to, I kind of want to press this C just a little bit more because on the top, um, I'm not noticing as much fibers in coming through from the t-shirt um, coming it I see some down here but I feel like the top isn't as much it's I feel like it's down but I'm not seeing it a lot of the fibers that so if you ever want to redo it okay you just put your um, clear transfer sheet back right over it and then Put this back and let's try let's try just to press a little bit longer okay so carefully pulling up this oh yeah I think I can tell a lot oh I think I'm gonna well, hold on we gotta wait for it to cold peel again
Okay, so I already see a lot more of the t-shirt fibers in there. Okay. Well, just because I want to be certain, I'm going to zap the other one again. Because... one but it should work. Oh, here's the K. Okay. Just to be sure. I heard you can do um, iron on with a household iron, but I will tell you that my mom and I tried it um, and it was really hard. <laughs> I was really excited to get the heat press because they just do all the work for you. And this is made specifically for projects like this. So um, you can do it with an iron, but I haven't had much luck with it. It was really, really tricky. Plus I, um, I feel like this patterned iron on, it's a little expensive to work with, right? So I kind of want to make sure I'm not going to ruin it. All right. So I see even more fibers in there. Okay. So I had to press it a couple times, but it looks great. I love how these turned out. So it did, did say to make sure you wait 24 hours before washing them again and inside out. All right, guys. Let me know what you guys think about the um, Teflon sheet in the comments. Do you guys use it or do you not? Is it something I should be probably um, doing or do you guys kind of skip it? I'm curious. Okay, if you like this tutorial, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe, then you'll be um, ready for the next craft that I'm going to do. Okay, bye guys.